Hey guys, what's up? This is Karan here, back with a new video, and you're welcome to Tech Karan YouTube channel. In this video, I've installed Flyme OS 8 on my Redmi Note 8, which you can see from here. This is Flyme OS 8. It's based on actually Android version 9, Flyme 820.5.7 daily. Actually, this is a beta build. This is from Mizu 16XS. This is the device name, which you can edit if you want to, but it looks nice. Redmi Note 8 Gingu. What are the things you get in Flyme OS custom room for Redmi Note 8? What are the bugs you get here? What are the things working and everything else in this video? So let's get started. Okay, so this is my Redmi Note 8 in which I have installed Flyme OS 8 as you can see from home screen. By default, you get live wallpaper pre-installed by swiping right. You get AC glance which is like assistant for you or like MI assistant or like Google assistant like these kind of things. You have AC voice app is available. I don't know how to use it. I think you need your flyme id and everything is in chinese this is totally chinese based room so there are a lot of blotware apps available which you will see here in folder you can see there are some chinese blotware apps available like family guard and this one is 360 i don't know what is this in chinese and like this one like this one a lot of chinese apps are there as you can see so a lot of Chinese apps are there by swiping down you got the notification panel where you get these type of tiles it looks very very cool actually it doesn't look bad hotspot is working or not it's working I think yep you can choose a password if you want to it's working perfectly without any issues at all calendar gallery these kind of things you get here in security app Obviously, you will see some ads pre-installed like this. There are a lot of ads and all are in Chinese language. If you want to remove these kind of things, you can use ad blocker to block ads and you can use root explorer to remove all the system apps which are in Chinese and which you don't like. Like cleaner permissions, battery, antivirus, these things are pre-installed and doesn't look bad actually. And now let's move forward, check out some other things in settings, which are the features you get here. First of all, Wi-Fi, portable hotspot, Bluetooth, SIM and more in these kind of things. You already know what are the things you get here. And display and brightness, you have the option of adaptive brightness that is working perfectly. Eye friendly mode and night mode, these two things you get here. It is like iOS, like the display mode in default light or dark. I have chosen the night mode ones and it was working nice. In display mode you have the option of colors, adaptive, standard, photo or dynamic and none of them is working. As you can see you, your default is adaptive and it is working, you cannot change it. Color temperature if you talk about you have the option of warm or cold or reset, whichever you like you can choose that one. Screen zoom, easy mode, all screen display mode, auto lock and auto rotate. These are the options you get in display and brightness. In sound and vibration, vibrate, do not disturb, phoning tones and these kind of things you get here which was expected also. In theme and wallpaper you can choose the flame style icons if you want, flame style avatars, wallpaper change. And in theme store you get three pre-installed themes available and some other themes are available which you can install if you want to. But one of the thing is these themes are paid. I'll show you from here like trial or this one is I think you want or I don't know what is the currency it is. You have to pay for these themes alongside with that you need a Flyme account. You can register your Flyme account from here. You can log in with your Flyme account. If you have you need these things to properly work these kind of things. Wallpaper fonts are available. In navigation and shortcuts one of the main thing which I personally liked is I'm using Android 9 and full screen gestures are here. These are working perfectly. That looks very very cool. In navigation and shortcuts you have the option of choosing the navigation method. It will show you a demo from here. Like you want M back, you want easy gesture or you want navigation bar, Android navigation bar. Whichever you like, you can choose that one. By default, it will be M back. You can choose easy gesture like this and it looks very, very 
cool as I look and recent panel has a lot of new things which looks very very cool. In settings icons like fingerprint face and security one of the best thing which I personally used are fingerprint and face recognition and both of the things are perfectly working. There's a volt option is available pre-install that is a very good thing too. Emergency digital health apps battery battery backup is not that much great actually battery draining in background is a little bit high power usage you can see this one just drained my battery a lot but you can uninstall this app this app and this app from by using root explorer if you want to like this one too these are chinese apps which are just draining my battery so these things you can already adjust AIC why I already show you this is a smart assistant alternative of Google assistant and MI assistant flying laboratory accessibility language and in about phone as I already shown you this is my redmi note 8 if I show you some other things gcam is not working there is inbuilt camera app installed that is working there are no issues here at all no portrait mode no customization options but still something is there and it's working perfectly like there's a toolbox option is available where you can choose mirror level compass rural these kind of things there are a lot of extra helpful things for you which you can do if you want to see so these are all the things you get here themes magisk manager is pre-installed i have tried to use it and it's working perfectly magisk is perfectly working as you can see magisk is pre-installed yes this is the older version but yes you can update it if you want to and these were all the things you get in Flyme OS build. How to install this? Very simple, like how you install custom rooms. This is how you can install this build. So this was all from today's video. I hope you like this build and I hope you got all the bugs and all the features in Flyme OS custom room available for Redmi Note 8. This was all. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.